can't really class it as a Tortland boxing because I have opened up the box. And this is what you get inside. So that's your Arduino Mega USB um, cable. Sorry. Got one driver, two drivers, stepper drivers, three stepper drivers, four stepper drivers. The actual lamps board is all in the anti static, and you will get a display unit which has an SD card on. Okay, so I might have one of these upstairs, so I'm not going to say there are only four at the moment. I haven't opened up the box, but let's open it. Let's notice I do have an anti-static wrist strap on. There's some grease when I've been working on my printer. Anti-static bags. This does have a coating on here. Like the like you peel off, I don't want to peel it off yet. Yes. Remove seal after washing. I think that's for colour adjustment. Uh, sorry, brightness of the L C D S D card connection parts. This is, yeah, it's going to feel like clicking, it's one of these sort of click knobs, not a potentiometer, like a one that clicks. So we have that, we have the, the cables to go to the ramp board from the display I estimate them to be about 500 millimeters long or so two of them needed and the actual connection sort of thing to plug into the ramp board and the display cables actually fit into there this plugs on the ramps shield okay as I say the stepper drivers let's open up well, I think I can tear that notice it does have a label on about static so that's why you need a and the static strap on. This does have a heat sink in it with it. There's a heat sink. There's the oops just go over there. There's the actual driver. Make sure you put these in the right way around because some do want the potentiometer. There's a like potentiometer there to adjust the amps I think it is for the stepper driver. It might be to adjust the bolts, I'm not sure to be honest with you. But just one of them if you need to, a little bit. And there's the heat shield which has a peel off backing on so that will stick on the top of the stepper driver there. Let me just, they're basically all the same. Then we have the actual Arduino which if I can get this open it's in one of these it's in one of these looks like one of these zip type bags it's awkward to get that open and it's catching a bit still get a USB redone let me un 
level this so we can get the length of this. Well, approximate length. Doesn't look all that long. As you see, I reckon about 500 millimeters, half a meter. There. Here is the Arduino board. Mega hologram on there. USB power. Another holographic sticker on there. And then we we actually have the ramps board, sort of shield that plugs into that Arduino. Be careful that you don't cut through any of the components when you're using scissors. Oops. So that's not actually fastened on. It's like for the power. Heat bed and hot end and such like connectors, I think. So this fits on the Mega Arduino, and then the LCD controller fits in there. A couple of poly fuses, I think they're called. This is where the stepper drivers, which I showed you earlier, you can plug in here. All the jumpers are on, are they? No, no jumpers on it at all. But we get a bag of jumpers here. So we have to put our own jumpers on, which basically all the jumpers, basically, so far as my understanding at this stage, want to go on all the pins to get the right level of stepping out the drivers. There are, as I say, there's different stepper driver boards. These, these sort of things that plug in here. You have to make sure they're going the correct way around. Just take the form of this, because this plugs into the Arduino Mega Looks very neat indeed, very good condition. I'm unsure about this, I'm not sure, I think that might plug, this might actually plug into there. It looks like it's going to, it's got these curve shapes at the bottom and this has like curve shapes there. XYZ. One's for servo. Turn this round a bit.
it all looks well made, in really good condition. So that's what I get with this kit. So jumpers need putting on. You need a fan with these. Well, it's highly recommended you have a fan. You could possibly bore a small heat sink under the. I think these are MOSFETs to power the hot end and the heat bed. Small switch there for resetting or what have you. Not sure. And as I say, a bag of jumpers. Okay, let me put this back on here. And that's what I've got with this kit.